Well, in less than about uh, 20 hours now, close to 100,000 people will fill the Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the Electric Daisy Carnival. Ye this boy. is the first time the event is being held in Las Vegas, and despite some concerns being raised, police say they are ready for that huge crowd. 8 News Now reporter Jamie Garola joining us live at the Speedway with Metro's reaction to its critics. Jamie? Well, Denise, they are certainly not amateurs at Metro when it comes to dealing with big crowds. But with two recent deaths in Dallas at a similar rave, safety and security here at the Electric Daisy Carnival are under the microscope. Oh, shit. Las Vegas isn't the largest city to host the Electric Daisy Carnival, but it is expected to draw the largest crowd in the touring rave's history. We've been doing this for a while. We look at these things very closely, and whenever we make a decision on staffing, we take everything into account, including what has happened in the past. And like just about every visitor to Sin City, Electric Daisy has baggage. Everybody who's coming is an adult, and we expect people to have personal responsibility, and we've really gone to the... To the ends of the fun. earth to make this event safe, secure, hydrated, cooled off, um, everything we can do. Two deaths are now being linked to the EDC in Dallas, and a teen's deadly overdose last year in Los Angeles is the main reason the rave moved to Las Vegas this year. Fucking the rave's promoter, Insomniac, is working with Metro Police and local fire departments to make the event as safe as possible. But an L.A. blog, quoting the chief of police there, questions the reported number of officers Metro will have on hand. It says 160 officers will staff the entire weekend event. We haven't put out any numbers. We don't put out any numbers because it compromises operational security. With 1,000 security guards expected to staff the EDC and an unknown number of police officers, Metro says it is well prepared and equipped for anything that may go down this weekend. There's going to be mounted officers, officers on horseback. Uh, we're going to have some uh, K-9 teams out there. There's going to be a lot of uniform it? patrol. There's going to be some plainclothes officers, and there's going to be undercover officers. There's going to be cops out there that don't look like cops. Uh -oh. The EDC has a long list of prohibited items, and they will conduct very extensive pat-downs of everybody trying to enter the Speedway. By the way, the EDC will be back, according to the spokeswoman, that they have signed a multi-year contract with the racetrack. Woo! Reporting live tonight, Jamie Garola, 8 News Now. I'm not moving right, from here.